my friends welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. In this video we will continue about inventory items and we will learn how to make an item that has an amount. So basically we will keep the, the example of the life potion for this tutorial and we will improve it by allowing the player to store multiple ones and um, yeah, when he drinks the last one, then he will no longer be authorized to to use one. So how do we do that? Um, there is this function item set amount save game variable. So we already have set save game variable, which stores the possession state of the life potion, so zero or one, and this will stay the same. We will call the other one set amount save game variable and we can call that amount followed by the item id that's my convention and we actually want both so this will be an integer that stores how many life potions we have and this will still be an integer that stores the current variant of life potion that we have so it can only be 0 or 1 in this example. And why do we need both? This will um, allow to distinguish two thing things. This will allow to distinguish the case of uh, not having the potion at all and already having the potion but with a counter equal to 0. So these are two different things. When you have never had the potion before, ever, um, this will stay zero, 0 and nothing will appear in, in the HUD or in the future inventory menu. And when you have one or multiple potions and when we, you drink all of them, then um, your amount gets to 0, but your possession state stays equal to 1. So the life potion will still be displayed but with a counter of 0. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally clicked the HUD. I, I completely forgot that it was clickable by default. Uh, okay, cool. Mm, so now my uh, item has an amount. So if I rerun the game again, I should see a number, a small number here. Um, except that here I have a small bug with the uh, uh, official 1.6.5 editor. Maybe you already have this bug, uh, also have this bug, sorry. Maybe not, it depends on which version you are using and which resource pack. Um, so it's not a big issue and quite easy to fix. So I will, I will help you if you encounter this problem. Um, it's, it's a problem in the HUD itself, in, in the item icon.lua file. Um, we refer to some phone files that simply uh, do not exist. I mean, they exist in, in other quests, but uh, we must have forgotten to, to put them here. Um, what you can do is either import them from some quest, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, we, we, we have them in, in our Zelda quest, for example, but we can also use this font instead, uh, which is really just fine. And put 8-bit in both cases. So that code wanted to uh, show digits in green when the max amount is reached, but we don't really care for this example. So let's just use 8-bit, this font called 8-bit, and see what happens. Uh, yes, I want to save. You found a life potion. Okay. And I have a counter of zero because I did nothing special yet. Um, you can see that there is a slight misalignment here. Um, the bottom of the zero is kind of cropped. And it's because we use another font <laughs> and it doesn't really have the same size, but um, it's quite easy to, to fix. We, we should just draw it uh, instead of this uh, slightly complicated 
coordinates, we can just draw it at um, W and H, height, but um, using vertical alignment here, equal bottom. So starting from uh, the bottom right of the surface where we draw, we will uh, draw it there. And since we don't really need the the if else here, we can just uncon unconditionally use the font 8 bit and remove that. And sorry for the inconvenience. If you had this bug, you can either follow the same fix as I did, or you can download the fixed file. It is in the download links in the description uh, of this video. And that should help. Or you can just get the missing fonts if you want. Yeah, so sorry again, but now it works. I hope it also works for you. If not, we can help, of course, on Discord. I always say that. And let's try to have... Well, I forgot to put any code related to my amount. So we can close the HUD file. Okay, so now we have a counter. We now need to uh, update it and to check it. So when we obtain one potion, we will um, add one to our amount value. So there is a function called add amount. There is also remove amount when you use it. So let's do it. Yeah, here, instead of set variant zero, it's important that we keep the same, this time we keep the variant one, uh, because we still possess the uh, life potion, at least the to, to show the counter. But we remove one amount and maybe we, we reach zero. And if we are if the amount is equal to zero, we want to uh, maybe play an error sound. And only in the other cases, we do stuff. And that should just work. Okay, so I can try to get it a second time to see if it updates to 2. Yes. I just used the potion one time. I need to lose some hearts again. I can use it another time. And again. And this time I can no longer use it because it's the amount is zero. But the possession state, so the variant, is still one. Because I, I still have the, let's say, the counter. I'm still considered to possess this item, but with an amount of zero. It's different from not possessing it at all. <clears throat> um, okay, cool. You can also put some max amount, some maximum amount with set max amount. Let's say three to make the test not too long. It's already long enough. <laughs> I should have put more chests or put some potions under the bushes or maybe have the enemy drop them. Okay, so now I have three. It's the maximum. So maybe you see the, your three in green if you have the previous code in item icon, the one that refers to fonts that had different colors. But we decided to remove that so for us uh, even if the maximum amount is reached, we, we still display it the same way. 
Um, okay, cool. So I obtained a new potion, but the counter still remained at three. So I guess that's uh, good enough for this tutorial. Um, sorry again for that slight bug, but there are so many scripts, so many versions that can be shared that one day or another you you will encounter these this kind of issue and it's it's nice to um, be able to to understand the error messages and sometimes it's just a, a missing file or, or an outdated, outdated file um, but again i will put in the video description the link to, to the fixed file and you should have no problem um, Okay, so I guess that's it for this tutorial, and next time we will uh, continue to build upon this new knowledge, and we, I think we will make the bow. We'll start to make the first version of the bow, which is a slightly more complicated item. It also has an amount, but um, we might separate the item in multiple items actually, because we have the bow, the arrow, and even the quiver, which changes the maximum amount of the bow um, and all three of these bow, arrow and quiver can be obtained by the, the player uh, for, ex for example in treasure chests so um, uh, yeah and it will be the same for bombs for example and for maybe, probably a lot of items so um, yeah it will be interesting I hope you learned a lot already in this tutorial uh, as always, please join our Discord and we will help. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.